In this video, we're going to see how to estimate the holding period return, which is a return that uh, any investor will get annualized. No? So in a given year, you want to, we, we hold the stock for several years, and then we would like to know what would be the return over those uh, X number of years. And uh, to do so, we just get the, the annualized return, one plus the annual return for that year, and we multiply those uh, one plus the returns, and the end we subtract one, and the answer we get will, is going to be the holding period return. So let's see one example. Going back to a Walmart return, let's assume that in one year we made 27% return, but then uh, these are made up numbers. No? So every year our return is a negative, positive, and so on. So what we do here, we estimate one plus the return. We copy and paste this area here. So one plus each year return. And then we use Excel's function called product. Oops, product and to multiply each year's return and to this product we subtract one as the formula implies to calculate the holding period return so over this number of years we made a, a 30 almost 33 percent return if we assume that these numbers are right no?